my health was progressively getting worse. I was still going in and out of the hospital. Millions of women face endometriosis and a lifetime of infertility. It's one of the top gynecological complaints for women. And now there's a new way to treat endometriosis for women desperate to have a baby. Tonight in For Your Health, Ellie Merritt shows us the difference it can make. Yes, well first, five million women suffer from endometriosis. It's where the lining of the womb spreads throughout the abdomen and it's very painful. Many women opt for a hysterectomy, but before that, many struggle with fertility. In fact, 30 to 40 percent of women with endometriosis are infertile, but there are new options opening up to help them have children. Hi Nikki, how are you doing? Good. For years, Nikki Bell endured painful doing? endometriosis. Constant, every month, pain. But Nikki's greatest struggle came with infertility. My health was progressively getting worse. I was still going in and out of the hospital. And for three years, she tried to have a baby with no luck. That can not only cause pain, but it has a destructive quality that can uh, render a, a patient uh, unable to conceive. So Dr. Augustus Parker at Mount Carmel performed a myomectomy to treat her endometriosis and save her uterus. When we finally, when I finally got the news, it was almost a shock. <laughs> like, I couldn't believe it. And Nikki learned she was finally pregnant. That's what we focus on is her and she is our joy. Olivia is four years old now, but then came another hurdle. The endometriosis returned and that's when Nikki opted for the Da Vinci robotic hysterectomy. This is video from the company showing the robot at work and Dr. Parker was the man in control. And the robotic hands, uh, they have better articulation actually than our, our, our natural hand. Mm -hmm. So we can see under things, around things, and I think the, the goal is that we can do surgery more precisely, uh, minimally invasive, so that the patient has less blood loss, a quicker recovery, less pain. Nikki just had the surgery six weeks ago. How long before you kind of felt that you were getting back to normal? And already this busy mom is better than ever. Just went back to work probably two weeks ago, so I'm doing good, I'm feeling good, <laughs> no problems at all. And she is loving life as a mom. And Mount Carmel and Dr. Parker are doing a special Doc Talk seminar on this type of surgery. So you can find out if it's right for you. Just head to our website and search robotic surgery for more information. The seminars are next Monday and Tuesday, May 14th and 15th at 6 p.m. in Westerville and Pickerington. And again, search robotic surgery. I put all that information on our website for you. Colleen? Uh, all right. Thanks a lot, Ellie. And